The Sydney Film Festival has been going since 1954, helping give an annual boost to the Australian film industry. This year it has featured almost 300 films from 60 countries. Some debuted here, including Australia Day, a thriller about lives that collide in contemporary Brisbane. So I think it's important for the Australian film industry to have their films presented on a platform alongside the best films from all over the world. The money earned from Australian films has jumped by 20% over the last four years, helped by big hits like Mad Max Fury Road or everyone else. and Lion. I have to find my way back home. No Australian film, though, has ever quite matched the box office success of the much-loved Crocodile Dundee. That's a knife. The Sydney Film Festival is screening films across the city, but outside its two-week run, cinemas here are struggling. Audience numbers are dropping as online services streaming films to people's homes become more and more popular. That's why a festival is important. So these film festivals have a, a massive part in actually driving popular, big audiences to, to films. Online streaming is not just affecting where people watch films. Companies like Amazon and Netflix are also becoming big players as filmmakers too. A presence at festivals and award shows. For the first time this year, two Netflix films are being seen in Sydney. The documentary Chasing Coral looks at the effect of climate change on the world's reefs. The critically acclaimed Okja was at the centre of controversy at the Cannes Film Festival in May over whether films without cinema releases should ever be allowed competition entry. From next year, such films are banned at Cannes, but they're not a concern here. In cinemas, on streaming services, uh, whatever it is, we want the films to be seen by as many people as possible. Second tier festivals like Sydney's might need to continue with that approach if they're to see out another 60 years. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.